Hi, everybody. Uh, so Sensei Fire Wars and I are together, and we're talking about, in a way, loyalty. And uh, behind us, he doesn't know we're talking about him, but Sensei Bill. Right. So, uh, Mr. Bill has been here for how many years with you? 25 years. 25 years. Is he your highest rank? Uh, yeah, no, actually. No. I mean, he's not the highest yeah. rank, but he's been with me the longest. Right. So, so we started talking about it, and I started talking about uh, Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee, and Jung Bong Kung Fu. And obviously, I didn't train under Bruce Lee. But Dan and Asanto, but he would start the class traditionally the way that Seagull and Bruce Lee would start it. And what he would do is he would take the whole class and he'd line up from rank. So your highest rank to your lowest rank. But all the way to his left would be his oldest student, not age, but who's been with him the longest. No matter, like the guy could be, well, I'll give belts. They didn't do belts in Jung Bong, but he could be a white belt. But if he was with you the longest, he, he's in front of the black belts. So what they do is they have three words they would say is japa, yibe, ginmai. So japa means group together. So the instructor would do that. So if I were there, I would go japa and I'd put my hands up. So everybody's supposed to line up. Then Mr. Bill, he was my oldest or your oldest student, he would be to your left, the furthest. He would be on his, uh, uh, just all the way down. Everybody else would be lined up. And he would look around and if people weren't ready, he'd be like, hey, you know, he'd get them in line. And then he would join you and say yibe, when everybody came to this position, they don't do this. Only you do this, and Mr. Bill would do that. So they would go here, eBay. So so as soon as uh, as soon as uh, he would go eBay, we would meet everybody in this position, and then the instructor would say Gin Lai, and you would do the salutation. So it's Jap up. He would go eBay, Gin Lai, and then you salute, and that's the tradition. See what he wanted to do is honor. The person, the loyalty, because there's always going to be somebody who shines, who's like just this absolute rocket, who can do everything instantly. I hate those people, <laughs> you know, because I, I am the guy who had to do it two thousand times to get it. And there's a lot of people who are naturally so talented; <clears throat> they can get their physical stuff. And and but sometimes they get past it with people in the right. ring because they're just kind of you got to give them more material, and they're they're testing. You got to do it, or sometimes maybe it could be injury, it could be whatever. There's a ton of reasons of why maybe he's not matching in that rank but it was his way of honoring that person who's been with them that long. And there's a lot of value to that. It gives them something too, because you see these people moving past you, moving past you, moving past you, it could be depressing. A lot of people, I got to the point where uh, sometimes I was like, ooh, what's his name didn't show today? I get to be up there because I was the oldest student right. that day. Yeah, you know, and there's there's that little ego thing, kind of like, oh, I get to be that guy for the day. Yeah, but what, how great of Bruce Lee to be able to, get, to uh, recognize that loyalty is more important than rank. Yep. And the yep. person who's been there the longest. Yep. That's so not that I needed one more reason to like Bruce Lee, but yeah. or you know, or JKD, but I love that. And I've been, you know, studying with you know Sifu Ron for I, I never knew that. I would just ask you, we were talking about sensibility and you mentioned that. What a great, what great uh, thing to have, a great thing to yeah. share. So like always, thank you for the insight. Yeah, no, thank you.